Welcome everyone to the Iron Keep Chronicles. It is our weekly game of Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. We are here at a very special time for a very special session. It is our adventure finale, our season finale, a big, big finale. It's also the very special episode where we deal with somebody's drug addiction. But you have to tune in to find out who. That's right, that's right. Who's it's great? genuinely an intervention. You have a problem, yeah. Eric. <laughs> Who's going to jump out the window of their dorm and scrape their wrists with glass? That's right. Now, that was an after-school special you've never seen. What? What was I supposed to teach you? Uh, <laughs> Were we all somebody, mortified? Yeah. Who was it? It was, I think it was, it might have been Jodie Foster. <clears throat> Whoa! Whoa! Shemixon! Oh my God. Ah! What? Thank you so much. Um, Holy crap! Shemixon is in the know that not only is it a special finale this evening Whoa, for, here. Uh, <clears throat> for our adventure, it's also a, a finale of sorts. I stress of sorts for two of our players at the table here. Uh, Megan and Garav are taking a break after the season is over here. They do plenty of other stuff on the channel, so it's not like you're not going to see them <laughs> Friday nights or hear them on the podcast or have them come back. So don't worry, you're going to get your fill of uh, Garav and Megan elsewhere, as you usually do. Uh, but tonight's a special night for them as well. So uh, uh, the... Um, the ladder of joy, as I like to call it, has been appropriately <laughs> rigged. Uh, thank you to oh, everyone who has donated uh, to uh, to two hundred more dollars. I'll give up heroin for good. That's promise. <laughs> <laughs> I can you quit anytime I want. I meant to bring this up, up before the minutes. stream, but I literally got here two minutes before the stream started. Um, I don't know what happens at, at some point when we run out. Dom usually invents something weird for next season. <laughs> so uh, keep your eye on that ball. But yes, if uh, you would like to alter, influence, uh, change the course of events tonight, uh, you can do exclamation point tips or exclamation point unlocks and see just what is on the table in front of us. Before we get to all of that excitement, however, why don't we go around and introduce our players while we're at it, everybody. Hey, Mr. Eric Reichert is with us. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name's Eric, and I'm playing Grayson Hale, the doppelganger paladin of Torm. No, oh, that's right. Gojira. Gojira, thank you so much for Button. the resub. <clears throat> Very good. Uh, if you had one goal for this session, I mean, this we're going to make a new party when all of this is over. So if there's, you know, one thing that you, hmm, let's see, I don't, I don't want to phrase it that way. What's one thing you don't want to happen <laughs> to Grayson tonight? I one thing you do not want to happen. I don't want Grayson's death to be from pranks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a fool. If you I, think that's I, I mean, case. like. <laughs> like, I think it'll be hilarious, and I'm not going to be angry, but I'd rather it be, like, for something, doing something dope rather than getting pushed into a pit of fire or something. <laughs> oh, Hold well. this rope. Ah, I fell I, into a burning pit of fire. I, it was a prank, 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 prank. and it was dire. I, and it burns, 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 this great. prank of fire. <laughs> This prank of fire. I'm done now, sorry. I guess um, <laughs> uh, I have nothing else to add other than introduce Megan Caves. I play Ava, who is, I, I should, for the last time, say her full name. Adriel the Quaniel Adelphi is actually her full name. What the Ava. fuck? Mm -hmm. it stands, Ava stands for that Damn. name. I knew yeah. that somewhere deep down. Huh. Yeah, yeah, it's all angel names. I went and found oh. all angel names. She's an angel. That's anyway. So cool. <laughs> yes. She's also a druid, and she's a scourge Asmar, and she is an avatar for the water goddess Zarshala. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If there's one hilarious prank that you could pull on Grayson tonight <laughs> that may or may not result in his death, what would it be? One hilarious prank. I mean, it'd be water involved. I feel like everything, but you know, but I. Isn't didn't, that like haven't we done the water? I, well, not, <laughs> not, not, not for Ava. The water thing. Not for Ava. Uh, although I, I don't. She didn't push you in. She splashed you. Yeah. So maybe it would. She. I don't know. At this point. Just Maybe she'd just him. go for a, no, <laughs> just just she'd go for a bigger right splash, now. and that might be it at that point. <laughs> Tee hee! Splash oh with water, he falls into like some electrical grid and yeah. gets fried. That would mm -hmm. not be on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just tase him. Yeah. I mean, she has lightning spells too. She could just uh -huh. double whammy you. 
I could. Mm -hmm. I mean, I did, uh, not me really, but accidentally cast Moonbeam on you yeah. at one time, which <laughs> yeah, kind of made your awesome. god go away. Yeah, you, <laughs> you kind of made him uh, question his, his faith. I think you're right, Ava. <laughs> Ava's got the best prank of all. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the only thing Grayson cares about really, Tor? Yeah. All right, let's just get rid of that. Yeah. It wasn't on purpose at right? all. You just <laughs> happened. You just wandered into the Moonbeam. It's Torm and his, bush, and his visage of being a human. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what? Big what? Boy. All right. Uh, the queen of mishearing things, uh, Havana Mahoney is here. I did not mishear that. Didn't he, did he just say, say Torm's bush? <laughs> <laughs> he said visage. No. His yeah. visage. Play back. You oh, corrected your. Can we get a clip? So clip that. <laughs> DJ Regular, I know you're there. Clip, clip I know you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my clip moves. Megan's looking at you going, Kiff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're just hey, salivating. Uh, See, DJ works for me, basically. <laughs> <laughs> he works for you. <laughs> DJ works for me. <laughs> All right. Because he'll clip it. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I've got a whole posse of people who give me ideas on Tuesdays, so you can have DJ regular. I've, oh, I've got my like stable DJ. of, uh, of uh, co-conspirators, as it were. Mm. Mm. What do you got, Havana? <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, <laughs> didn't see you there. I'm going to be playing Avril Birdsong as, uh, in her final throes. I'm sure she'll die tonight. <laughs> oh, my wow. God. Oh, but she's... we're planning? Everybody's going to die? <laughs> TPK or bust. Um, you can't all be a heroic sacrifice, can you? No. More than likely, she'll try and do something really awesome, and then the three of us will be like, hey, let's stand here. And you'll be like, God damn it, I've been planning this for... for... <laughs> <laughs> it's the Cuba Force all over again. <laughs> I feel like this whole night's going to go opposite of how it normally goes. We're all going to be trying to kill ourselves, and you're going to try yeah. to keep us from yeah. keeping ourselves alive. Yeah. I think, I think... How do you know that's not what I do? every week. Well, that's, <laughs> I don't. I think out of everybody, the people that probably need redemption the most are probably Avril and Grayson. Hmm. Grayson, I think, just needs redemption from himself. Hmm. But what do you need redemption for? What does that yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah. Let's, she's good, let's, I Let's thought. hear it out. I mean, she's all right. She's yeah. kind of like a shit lord. <laughs> she's got she's like almost, shitty rat She doesn't causes. care about yeah. anything. and Like, I, I just feel like she really... Never, she always kept people at an arm's length because of what happened with her parents. Mm. But now that her parents are like back within that arm's reach, how does it change? We'll see. This isn't mm. a fucking. We'll find out. Yeah, it's not a chat back it's show. It's not a fucking. No, no, we don't have to, what's like, your stupid show called? What's Disorganized um, play. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It's not. Um, it's not terrible it's not like that. Those. This is a good show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not fun if I shit on you and you agree with it. Yeah. That's very Eric of you. That's like yeah. if I shit on you and you like ate it. <laughs> no one wants It's that. a defense mechanism, okay? <laughs> Listen, I would only eat a little bit of my own shit. Just enough to disgust you so you didn't have to watch me eat more of it. Speaking of shit eating. <laughs> 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 that took a dark turn. I hope you're not tuning in for the first time because this show really is not like us. Mostly what? not like us. <laughs> Sometimes we play D and D. It's true. Hey, do you know who's really good at D and D? Garav Gladi, everyone. Hey, Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm playing Thorn of the Wood mm. for the last time, probably. Mm. I don't know. He could come Maybe. back. He could come back. Um, Every uh, character from now on anywhere is Thorn of the Wood. Yeah. <laughs> the next oh. party is um, Thorn and his three clones. Geez. Thorn and his three doppelganger brothers who are all named Thorn, Thorn, and oh. Thorn. God, that's <laughs> spelled so like. Yeah. <laughs> just of different things yeah. instead of just wood. Yeah. Um, it's T period, H period, A period, it's W root. period. And, Thorn of the Wood. And each letter root? is a different angel's yeah. name. Exactly. There Go. Yeah, yeah, it's called an homage, everyone. Get yeah. on board. He's got a real last name. I don't know if we ever, we ever mentioned it on the You movie. have, but very rarely. Yeah, it's Varug, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is just my name backwards. Oh, is that on IMDb? Oh, clever. All right, very Gygaxian. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, those are our players. Uh, our game tonight is, like as I said, our, our epic season and adventure finale. We're going to cap off Expedition to the Barrier Peaks. Whether I like it or not, whether I want to play five more sessions or not, this is it. This is this is the big one. That's why we're starting early, so we can pack in all the action and not have everybody be here till two o'clock in the morning. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, thank you so much for joining us. As I said once again, uh, you can hit exclamation point unlocks or exclamation point tips and see what's available to unlock or how you can uh, uh, alter and influence tonight's events. Uh, something that you can do that is free 
is you can tweet about the show or post on social media that the show is happening right now because we're at a special time and there may be people who at 8 o'clock are going to show up and go, well, I didn't know. Why didn't anybody tell me? Well, you can be the person who told them. All those old men that watch yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of Don Knotts is going to be very upset when I he shows up. I always watch Matt Lockerman. Yeah, I'm Kim Gronigle. Oh, I like that girl that tells them to get in the holes. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> I, can I love the whole girl. <laughs> There's not enough whole girls. <laughs> okay. All right. That's a spicy meatball. All right. Jesus Christ. Let's see what. Wait, I love that we just started smoking fat balls. Before. <laughs> That's just so good. You guys have a problem with my heroin. All right. So, uh, first heroin of all, detective. Modern Chow has uh, resubbed and they send their reroll to Eric. Eric. Yeah, uh, Gojira, you have a resub reroll coming in, so send that to our famed illustrious producer and executive leader here, uh, Mr. Dom Zook, behind the keyboards, and he'll make sure that that gets distributed appropriately. Unless you want to contribute to a different show and a different person, we have a wide variety of offerings here on Saving Throw. Uh, Thomas W. Young sends their reroll to uh, boop, 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 Havana Mahoney. Oh, thanks, Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. I have two left from last week. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, which I will be using myself later. The table gets inspiration thanks Yay! to our unlocks. Thank well, you. let's just start doling these things out here, shall we? Uh, Ava, there you go. There thanks. you go. Oh, thank you. He it's a foreshadowing of what is to come. He noticed, Dom. He noticed. <laughs> Dirty. All right. So, table gets inspiration. Gojira sends a reroll to. Ooh, ooh, how fast can Dom type? Megan K. Very good. Uh, everyone gets three bumps to start. Fancy. And that's happening. Oh, wow. the Xore. Thank you so much for Thank the donation. You for the 20. Appreciate it. Oh, man. <clears throat> There's oh, three for Thank you. Thank you. There's do, 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 three for Garage. Thank you very much. And three for me. So that's pretty cool. Um, everyone gets three more bumps. Yes. So that's a lot of bumps for everybody. Weird. <clears throat> Why hold back on the juice tonight is my personal. Talking about heroin? Yeah, no, I know. Yes. I didn't hold back. <laughs> don't hold back on the juice. Well, don't, don't push that plunger too hard. <laughs> oh, 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 all right. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I know that God. I, stop. I, stop. I, I smoke it. Don't worry. I'm not. <laughs> you can smoke heroin? Yeah, you, <laughs> You've never watched that I mean, Angelina Jolie movie where she was a supermodel? No! Okay. Do you Tomb, watch it Tomb every Raider? night? I mean, not every night, but, you know, I was 12 <laughs> once. You have six more bumps. Yeah, oh, well, all right, oh. very good. Uh, so, six more bumps for everybody, huh? Let's, let's see how them. that works. There's three more, mm -hmm. and three more. Tom only does things in threes. I do. I'm trying to keep them bundled. It's heavenly. All right, so, those... Three, four. You count to ten in weird ways too, because I do that. Like I do three, two, three, two, instead of like. Hmm. So you know, in Germany they, no. they count to ten starting with their That's thumbs. Way less efficient. <laughs> Actually, they just do all their counting starting with their thumbs. <laughs> That's how you know. And this is three in German. What? They, they, huh? They don't, huh? Yeah. We do this. Why do they do that? What do yeah, this? What is this? Like they start, yes, you do. They yeah, do we only do this. three. Like having them all jam like together. Oh, <laughs> they, three. they start with their thumb. So they, when they count, they're like one, two, three. Instead they're of counting to three. Yeah. Um, who, haven't you seen, uh, what's the Tarantino movie? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Inglorious Bastards. Yeah. <clears throat> That's maybe the greatest scene in the whole movie. It's amazing. Where they oh. count to three? Yeah. She, uh, they say something the like two, oh, yeah. two glasses or three glasses or something like that, and that's how he knows that he's Jesus, not a German, not a native German. Wow! All right. Um, we talk real things now? You know, oh why don't we just... Um, what do you like on Christmas? I really just want, because it's a pen, I can use it now. Why don't we just do this? Uh, I know that God has been unlocked. That's available yeah. for you. If you want the avatar of Basharla to show up, uh, she will answer three yes-no questions for you. Um, and actually, while we're at it here, why don't you each roll a d4? Oh, my gosh. Two. Four. Nice. Three. 
We did all right, four. perfect. Did. Send me uh, uh, whatever you got on the dice. Send me those bumps, please. Whoa. What? Yeah. He tricked, he tricked us. it. Wow. Trick. Trick. The hell of a day. What? Prank. 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 Yes, I'm serious. That's the way it works. I need these. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Simon Fiernikov. Thank, Thank you. you so much. God damn. Speaking of Germany. <clears throat> All right, so that's happening. Um, I am going to let you decide this when you want. Uh, inspiration is is double refreshed, right? So you have you have double inspiration right now. Uh, and <laughs> are we gonna make it rain already? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, we'll, we'll save that one a little bit, I guess. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna save that one, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let you, um, <laughs> do you hey, money using for $15? Yeah. Thank wow. you, Brandon, thank you, the Posh Panda. Very good. Uh, speaking of D20 Monkey, uh, Brian Patterson is having a sale right now on Ooh. his store. If you'd like a lovely t-shirt similar to what we're wearing, but, but uh, with his original art and stylings on it, you can purchase one of those for a discount right now. <clears throat> All right, so we've got double inspiration. Um, I will let you deploy this at your um, leisure or at your choosing, right? Uh, I don't know if you want to use it right away or save it for later, but at some point during tonight's adventure, uh, Klaus the Medbot <gasps> is going to appear and administer healing to you. Klaus. To all of us or to, to one To all person? of you, all of you, yeah. You would all, all receive a dose of healing. I'm not gonna tell you how much, but uh, Two that's, points. That's yes. available, yes. One, you each get a D4, <laughs> congratulations. All right, that's, um, you know, I think we'll save that for a little bit. That's where we're at right now, great. So. Karav wants to open his present. I just want to open I huh? got pens. I, I can use them now. Yeah, use it now. I don't care. <laughs> Live it up. Oh, Tom got his last I got everybody present. going away presents for being good players and putting up with my um, I got yellow. latency, mm -hmm. as they call it. Rare. Tardiness. Hands. Ooh. Cool. Stainless steel. Ooh. Whoa. Arrow tip. That's for me. Ooh. There's two things here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, this is a pencil. This is a That's Ooh. not it. That's not it. I want to use this right now. All right. Thanks, Tom. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I can't read All right. So, uh, who who would like to bring us up to speed? Do you do you, oh, you want to give the recap, or should I just cliffhanger off the cliffhanger? Wow. <clears throat> uh, we uh, found out we needed to turn on the power to the ship in order to turn on all the medical stuff to save Avril's dad and probably mom and maybe other stuff. Yeah. So we fought our way down uh, to the bottom last level of the ship where we met a bunch of weird uh, purple gnome people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, who, and then uh, we had to go into the power core place where time and space were warped. Yes. Fight our way through that and turn and pull a lever. And then figure out how the fuck we get out of there, uh, which was real hard with time and space being all fucked. And then uh, we, we did it, though. Thanks, and then, then all the doppelgangers were like, hey, you did it. Uh, cool. Oh, no. Something with a bunch of eyes is attacking us. Yeah. That's, that's uh -huh. basically it. Yes. Very good. <clears throat> so wait. What could it but be? But I got a magic belt. I mean, you got a magic belt. And that's we got that. drunk on space juice. Yes, you did get drunk on space <laughs> juice. That's correct as well. Uh huh. Very good. <clears throat> um, so you are you have uh, uh, gathered yourselves back in the bioengineering chamber. Yes. Um, uh, 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 Brainiac is there to advise you. Everything is powered up. All of the machines appear to be functional. Uh, there's lots of exciting lights and whirring noises that are chirping and beeping all around you. How do lights chirp or beep? Well, watch one and you'll find out. Uh, Just stare yeah, at it. And so you got this message, this urgent message over your wrist communicators, basically, that said, you know, hey, we got everything kind of under control. It looks like the power's been rerouted. Everything's cool. We're going to start bringing your... Oh, God, ah, things are bad. Things are on fire. Da, 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 da. Right? So uh, that's, that's where things were left. So you heard... Over the wrist communicator, you heard Alaris say, Hull breach! We have a hull breach! Oh god, the eyes! It has so many eyes! And then the link went dead. Oh, yeah. 
Um, what would you all? What, what would you like to do at this point? What's your? Uh, what's your take on the situation? Uh, long rest. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I'm at 25 hit points. Really? Where am I? Um, I don't think we have time for a long rest. I'm kidding, but I would just like to point out I do have 25 hit points. Um, yeah, we. I mean, we book it, right? Yeah. Yeah, we I go. think so. Where well, are you planning to go? Back to the doppelgangers. Back up to them. All right. Yes. I mean. Um, Okay. <clears throat> what should we do, Tom? <laughs> what, what would you advise? Uh, we can ask Brainiac. I uh, didn't bring those. All right. It's fine. I was like, ooh, I wasn't planning for you to fight anything tonight. <laughs> no, so uh, so I'm trying to recall exactly what you, which way you came through in order to get here. You came through like a passageway upstairs right on the upper deck, yeah. right? <clears throat> yeah, on the, the ring here. Uh-huh, yeah. So uh, you start climbing the ring and um, making, I don't remember what, like, did you take some sort of like access shaft or something like that? That's what it was, right? You like came down some sort of maintenance shaft or something that they directed you to. Yes, that yeah. they directed you to, yes. Correct. So you get, you, get toward, you get towards that thing and you can hear someone, you know, basically it sounds like maybe they're cutting it open, forcing it open, what have you, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> uh, you pause for a moment, kind of form sort of a tactical cluster, and then you see <clears throat> one of these. I have a guy. I have a guy. One of these blue doppelganger guys um, oh, yeah. comes bursting through the, the, the broken doorway and he's lugging a bunch of equipment over his shoulder. And, and he's got you know, some sort of device in his hand. The tip is glowing red. Looks like he melted, maybe melted the lock on the thing um, and, and, and burst it open. And he turns around and you don't, you know, again, he doesn't make any noise, but you can make out fairly easily. It sounds like there's another dozen people behind him. They're, kind of dragging stuff. There's a lot of, you can hear the sounds of either cases or equipment bumping against the floor and the, the hallway and things in the debris in the hallway and whatnot. Um, uh, yeah, so at the top of this maintenance shaft then they begin to sort of rappel down and you see that in short order <clears throat> it is, 11 doppelgangers, right? Okay. Um, roughly six of them are, you know, three of them show up right away and, the, and they start passing equipment down to you. These big kind of heavy um, metal and plastic cases come down uh, that you're like, what is in here? Because they're inordinately, um, <clears throat> inordinately heavy. <clears throat> uh, and then, a pair of, of doppelgangers arrives and they have uh, Tobias on a litter, right? Uh, and so they figure out a way to kind of get some, some rope and they lower the litter down and he comes lower down. He's got kind of like the barest of medical equipment still attached to him. He's very pale. Um, it looks like he's breathing shallowly, his eyes are closed, and he's not in a good state. The litter itself has like burn marks and scorch marks on it, right? It looks like these guys have been through, all of them look like they've been through something terrible. <clears throat> um, another doppelganger shows up with Abigail kind of slung over his shoulder, or like she's hobbling along, he's helping her along. <clears throat> they rig up some sort of seat for her to sit on, and they kind of like ferry her down onto into the bioengineering area. <clears throat> um, and then two more doppelgangers show up with uh, a litter, and it looks like they have another doppelganger sp splayed out on that litter. They all of these guys like are dressed the same and have the same features. So for you to kind of figure out like who's what, what's going on or whatever is a little bit difficult. But then finally, there's three more doppelgangers who come down with a, a few more equipment, and the last one kind of 
tacks the door back into place and gets out a welding torch and there's this giant flare of blue light as he like tacks it closed as much as he can. They start shoving stuff against the, the wall. <clears throat> um, and so uh, one, of, one of the equipment guys finally turns to, actually one of the guys at the head of the litter with a doppelganger turns to you and you hear a voice in your minds that says, um, we have taken some casualties, but we managed to save uh, your mother and father. I, I'm afraid we're, we're the last ones who are coming down from deck 43. What's the difference in numbers, can we tell? Oh, you would say that, that, the, that the, the colony itself was probably 40 to 50 yeah. people, oh. so they've lost like... <clears throat> 75% of their numbers. Holy shit. Wow. Is what you're guessing. What were you fighting? <clears throat> there was a orb with a large eye and a wicked set of teeth. Uh, really, the teeth didn't seem to do much, but it had uh, eye stalks ringing its spherical body, and these eye stalks projected quite potent um, beams of force and destruction, and they wreaked havoc on our people. Um, more importantly, our conclave uh, suffered rapid uh, decompression, and several of our uh, people were sucked out into transwarp space. I'm it's, sorry to hear that. It's gotta be Xanathar. Yeah, yeah. We, 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 <laughs> this uh, figure was accompanied by uh, two humanoids in some sort of strange antique uh, metal armor. The one humanoid was perhaps mm, seven of your feet tall, uh, and he was carrying a chain that uh, uh, was leashed to the other humanoid. <clears throat> Jinji? Why would they bring Jinji? I don't know. That's strange. It could be someone else they're holding hostage. Yeah, yeah but it would have to be someone that matters to us. Think of a few people. Uh, well, is there anybody we can tend to? The wounded? Can we help in any way? Uh, our medical facilities have been completely wiped out, but our understanding was perhaps there was some medical needs that. Yes. Yes, Tob we can. Bias and them. Abigail were going to have attended to. Perhaps you could help Alaris as well. Yes, if we take them to the medical bay. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, just we've got to do it as fast as possible, especially if they <clears throat> sustain extra injuries on top of their shit. Yes, follow <clears throat> us, and maybe we should leave a couple guards here to, in case they breach. Uh, yes, that seems wise to at least uh, set up some sort of scout. Mm, and then he just turns to, to his compatriots, and they, they, <laughs> they do exchange this look where they like look at him, and then they look at each other. And then they turn and they grab one of the cases and they begin climbing back up the shaft and they're lugging this enormous case back up with them. What's in <laughs> the cases? Uh, it is the whatever equipment we could salvage as we were evacuating. Anything we can use to defend ourselves or fight back against these things? Well, as you mentioned it, Curious, yes. <laughs> uh, the Marek sends their reroll to boop, 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 of Anna Mahoney. Oh, thanks, oh. Marek. Yes, there are a number of things you may be able to use to uh, defend yourselves. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> so, um, you go down, but let us retreat to perhaps a more defensible position. <clears throat> So you go down to the bioengineering chamber and they get uh, kind of Alaris set up and there's one of the doppelgangers is trying to tend to, to his wounds. Tobias is not looking good, so this guy's dividing his time between the two of them. Uh, <laughs> Abigail is like, I, I, I'm not, I don't know that I'm cut out for this. Uh, uh, Avril, I, I, this is not what I, Expected. <clears throat> if we get through this, you won't have to put up with it anymore. 
All right, all right, all right. Yeah, it's just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna... You just have to stay strong and make it through this one last thing, and then we'll be out of here, okay? I wish I had your conviction, but um, I'm going to pray to Joaquin that she will guide us and watch over us and keep us safe. <clears throat> um, you notice that uh, her, her little sickness on her leg looks like it may have restarted. <clears throat> like it's creeped up a little bit high. You can see yeah. shoots and roots of it um, what's creeping the, up her leg. What's the robot's name that's in the... Brainiac. Hello, I'm Brainiac. Brainiac. <laughs> Brainiac, can you... Here, Mom, come over here. I'm going to bring her over to Brainiac. Do you see the, this, like, infection spreading on her leg? Is there something we can do about that? Stop it? Um, reverse it? I'm sorry, I am not part of the medical team. I am part of the bioengineering and terraforming team. All right, but this might be some sort of bio thing. Uh, it appears that your friend, compatriot, and or uh, parent needs some sort of medical attention. I suggest you consult with Angelica. Shit, where's she at? She's so far away. Yeah. Well, maybe now that the can you... oh, yeah. river is back, maybe... She can be in more places than just that desk she was in. Can you talk to her? Can you reach her? Is there a way to communicate? Attempting to establish connection. The fuck? Angelica is offline. Um, oh, that's not good. Can't you just like, look, just look at her? Or maybe one of the machines? Okay, okay, I don't know how it works. Which one of the machines would you like to take advantage of? Which one would help her? Define help. <laughs> Either reverse or repair the damage that has done, been done to her limb. We cannot reverse or repair the damage that has been done. We could recreate her biometric pattern. If you do that, does she keep all her memories? First, you would have to be uploaded into the, mm, 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 what did we call it here? <clears throat> mm, oh, wait, let me look at that piece of paper. I have a piece of paper that has the stuff on it. Ah, yes, the uh, Biologic Animus Reintegration Chamber. And that would- The Comprehensive Intellect and Identity Interpreter would upload her consciousness into our data bank. So, if I'm understanding it, Essentially, they take her soul and then they make a new body and they place her soul in that new body. You make a new body or we need to provide one? We would generate an entire new body. Of course, that process is fastest if we have a blank clone template. Also known as a doppelganger. What if... What if the doppelganger is like dead already? Uh, inorganic tissue does not provide any sort of advantage. What if it's like almost dead? But that would be fine. <laughs> How long would it take to create one without uh, a doppelganger? Approximately 17 minutes. Well, that's fine. <laughs> when did you say that in the beginning? Uh, make one now, go. Well, I'll make, mom. We're, I think it's the only option we have for Dad. And I, I don't know if it's the only option we have for you, but I think right now it's the best bet we have. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking to your mom. I'm talking to my mom. <laughs> I thought you were just Who talking. Who am I? I'm talking to Tom? I thought you were just talking to Tom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it does sound uh -huh. like the best option yeah. we have. Yeah, that's pretty good. <clears throat> but I don't, I don't want to make you do it. What, what, what? I don't understand all this fancy talk, Avril. Look, the, what's... What's ha Why don't they have any clerics here? It's just, an, it's a, like a it's, different they just, uh, universe. It's in, like a, a different world. They, we're yeah. in space, apparently. Okay, they let's have, not blow our mind, guys. Can they we? have magic, <laughs> but the, the way they interpret magic is different than ours, so it's, it's, it's hard, but the, the general sense is that they will move your soul to a new body that looks the same as your old body. And you'll have all your memories and your feelings and your personality. I mean, hopefully less passive aggressive, but you know, I think it'll be the same, uh, you know, so it'll- I don't know why you think I'm passive aggressive. 
I'm not gonna make you do it, okay? But I think this thing that's growing up your leg, it's not gonna stop until it consumes you. And we don't have an option for dad, and he's not conscious to say it's okay or not. But I think if we want him to live, we have to do it. And I want you to live too, and I don't know if you will if we let this go on. I don't wanna lose you again. All right. You know, I, I put my faith in, in a lot of things over the years, and, and maybe I've cast my eyes to heaven one too many times when I should have been paying attention to the things that are right there on earth, right around me. So I'm going to put my faith in you, Avril. I'm going to do what I know your father would do if he were awake and able to make the decision himself. I don't know what all this fancy artifacts and machinery is all about, but if you need a guinea pig, I'm I'm gonna try so that so that we can save your dad. I appreciate that. Just think of it as a a miracle. If it turns out the way that you say it turns out it will be. All right. Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Are we able to put both of them in there? Or are there two of those machines? <clears throat> um, so, so it works in sequence. Brainiac explains to you that first you have to provide a tissue sample okay. of, the, of the exact pattern that you want to replicate, right? Um, that's not a particularly pleasant process. I mean, it's probably going to involve amputating a hand or some, you know, a, a sizable quantity of this thing, right? Well, of, of the thing that I you want to sample. Am I going to have two moms after this? <laughs> no. Um, okay, good. So, so, so <laughs> first, to kill my first you have to, up, <laughs> too much passive aggression. First you have to upload the, um, you have to upload a, a sample of whatever organic life form you want to replicate. Okay. Right? Um, that does not take any of their consciousness away from them. It just, it, it doesn't hurt, actually, because they have, like, an anesthetic type of thing that happens, right? Posh Panda, thanks for thanks resetting. Thanks, Posh Panda. I don't know if, our, uh, if, if uh, Amazon is still doing their sale on bits either. The Amazon they Mail. are, yeah. Prime was doing a sale on bits. So if you want to you wanna get some bang for your buck for 99 cents, you could get 500 bits. It's literally, like, five times the value. It's crazy. <clears throat> um, so then, secondly, you have to... Then you upload her, her into this comprehensive intellect and identity interpreter, right? And that part essentially drains her consciousness out of her and like, and, and, and um, it takes an imprint of her, who she is, her soul, right? It does tell you uh, that there's, that her soul is going to get uploaded into one of these canister things that you've seen before, yes? And there's actually a rack of these things over on the wall. Where's my photo? How we can make a whole army. Where are my handouts? <laughs> Is it? I guess that's true, yeah. Just keep throwing those things in the machine, popping out people. Just keep um, making Graysons and throwing them at Xanathar. Well, you know, these things. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Prank? 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 <laughs> yeah. Right. So, prank. so each one of these stores a unique imprint of a, of a, of a life, of a conscious, conscious life form, right? You upload it into that, and then uh, you start growing a, a, a new body for from whatever the sample you, you took. Uh, uh, presumably, the old body dies, or it's a it's an empty shell at any rate. Um, God, I hope so. And and so the, the new body the new body begins as an embryo, and then rapidly grows into a mature specimen over the course of ten to twenty minutes. Right? So. And at the end of that process, then you use the biologic animus reintegration chamber to put their to put their imprint into the body. So, Brainiac, if you had a if you had a sample of a doppelganger, could you grow blanks that could then be used for like how do if you have a blank person, a doppelganger, how do how do you then if you upload someone into that, how does it know to make them a, them and not continue being a doppelganger? 
I failed to follow the question. <laughs> like, can you grow uh, a doppelganger? Yes. And Given a sample, I could. And we currently do not have any blanks loaded into the system. However, now that power has been restored, we can now generate protein-based life forms. Okay. And uh, how, so with that, if someone were uploaded into that blank, how would it know to form as them and not as the doppelganger? A doppelganger doesn't have any unique characteristics. This one does. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's my brother. A doppelganger's form is designed to accept the unique imprint of every person imprinted upon it. Well, so are you, fuckhole. I failed to follow the question. Wasn't a question. I failed to follow the emphasis on the statement. Good. Good. Great. Great. I'm Brainiac. I'm here to help. How may I help you? You're helping well, just Because I am a doppelganger, but I possess the ability, like I have my own, my own consciousness. That is a logical oxymoron. Well, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's true. He lies. He loves. He breathes. He walks around. He's worshipped before. If you are an independent and unique individual, you are by definition not a doppelganger. <gasps> You're a real boy. Ooh. You've always been a real Ooh. boy. Ooh. Just had to look inside you and realize you were. Who did? He did? He, he knew did. he was real. But he just said no. You knew you were real. No, no, no. He knew he was real. <laughs> 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 I'm just curious if we had, like, if you had a sample of my DNA, could you then grow bodies which people could be placed into, such as the bird songs that would allow them to continue to be themselves and not look like me? Are you trying to save 17 minutes? It's fine. Thanks. It's 17 minutes. <laughs> we can wait. I'm pretty sure. Well, he just wants to lose an arm. Well, come on. No, it would be useful to have the ability to help everyone. <laughs> Do we not have 17 minutes for everyone? Well, there are people on Look the ship that don't have bodies. Right. All those people on the wall there? Right. But could you take one sample from one doppelganger and create multiple body blanks off of that? We can create multiple blanks of anything that we sample. Mul oh, they, so are by have... they are by definition blank. <laughs> OK, don't make two of, don't make two of my parents. Just one is good. Just one each. Noted. The file will be deleted upon retrieval. Okay, maybe just like hold on. I'll tell you when to delete it. Just the file will be stored until further notice. Great. We just You're, drag it to the trash can, but no. don't empty it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Put it in the recycle bin. But but don't but... empty the mm -hmm, recycle mm -hmm, bin. Mm -hmm. The file will be written to a tape rate array. Fuck. What? What? <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, that, that part. Sure. So how much of a person do you need to make a sample? Roughly two pounds. Jesus Christ. Grayson, you don't have to do this. Listen, there's a doppelganger over there dying already. <laughs> Just get him to do it. <laughs> He's not going to make it. Is there a doppelganger dying? <laughs> uh, well, so you, down in the litter. you can't actually like tell these different people apart because you can, act, yeah. you can, you hear, can, you can hear the <laughs> thoughts that they're having even though... You know, you're tuned into to sort of their network, One of them's right? Going, I'm definitely um, dying. So, so you know that this is Alaris, right? This is the this is the leader who okay. you met earlier, and he is grievously wounded and not not doing particularly well uh, himself. Um, Go into his brain. Yeah, and and so the person who has been kind of talking to you guys and interfacing with you is uh, uh, his assistant, who's named Abelard. Okay. So I'm. And Abelard is very. Uh, very distraught, but also curious. He's like, he's kind of watching. Like, well, wait, how does, what's doppelganger, happening here? How does this work? Doppelganger distraught. Like, he's like, I am very distraught right now. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> like, what yeah. is this feeling? Yeah, I'm exactly. feeling of distress and discomfort. Yeah, his his version of distraught is he, he just like a bird just keeps looking left and right. What's going on? Yes, and what's yes, yes, um, you do notice that like um, a couple members of the team here are getting out what appear to be like 
ostensibly laptop computers and are like punching into um, connecting their machinery to various pieces of the machinery down here in the um, bioengineering chamber. I'm gonna go to Alaris. I'm gonna say, Alaris, I think I'm. Mm -hmm. I think I have a way to save you and possibly most of the people still on the ship uh, who are trapped. Uh, I don't particularly enjoy it, but they, there are people on this ship that need bodies, and I'm not going to ask you to sacrifice your people to and your lives for that, but as you are very injured, we can sort of kill two birds with one stone, as it were. Really not good word Fitch. choice. <laughs> not, <laughs> really not familiar with this. Not evening. good it's, word choice. <laughs> if if we if you allow us to upload your consciousness and then use your body to as a sample to grow new bodies, we can not only save your life but also possibly the lives of hundreds on this ship. It's, but it's, I don't fully understand how any of it works, so I can't guarantee that it will work. Grayson, you propose an interesting course of action. I need to impress upon you one thing. The machine before you, the one which you rightly believe can save your life, the life of your friends, perhaps even my life. This machine, to our people, is a machine of genocide. It was used to literally snuff us out before we could become our own independent creatures with our own free will and our own ability to grow and develop into whatever natural form we might take. However, these are desperate times, and without the use of this machine, I can see that not only will my life be forfeit, but those of your friends, perhaps all of us, will be gone as well. So I am willing to make this sacrifice that you propose, but in the event that my unique personality stayed stoic as it may be, if that personality is not properly transferred and imprinted, I hope you will promise me that you will save the lives of my brethren here. I will. I will either save them or die with them. That is all I can ask. And he turns and levels a gaze at this giant contraption <clears throat> and says, take me to the machine. Maybe we could like do my dad and my mom first and then. We can, but I just, this way your parents don't have to suffer anymore before. Okay. Well, they'll still have to wait 17 minutes for the blank to be made, right? I think this is faster. Okay. Maybe. All right. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> um, so, uh, Alaris places his hand into the, uh, the mm, fine segmented sequence analyzer, and there's basically sort of like a a little laser beam that scans back and forth, scans back and forth. And then you can see that as it's scanning back and forth, it is slowly actually either burning or vaporizing away like a layer of flesh a time at a time at a time at a time at a time until eventually there's nothing left but just sort of the clean stump of his wrist sitting in the machine. And he observes this whole thing very, you know, impassively, just like, it's curious, there is no pain to this procedure whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And he sort of holds up the stump and looks at it. 
next step in the process. And um, what, once this thing is uploaded, or you know, once that the, the pattern is analyzed, Brainiac begins generating the new body, right? And you see this light come on uh, outside <clears throat> on the on the floor of the tank. So if you remember, there were those. I don't remember. If was, I think it was six different chambers that were on the floor of the tank when you when you fell down into the bottom. Well, one of them lights up, and you see kind of this roiling, bubbling take place taking place inside. <clears throat> uh, and it says, you know, regenerating bio biological pattern. So it, it's started making his body, uh, and then Brainiac goes over and takes one of these things off the shelf and loads it into uh, the next chamber. And uh, basically, there's a net of diodes and whatnot that are draped over him, almost like uh, like a sheet. You know, you don't, it, it, it's, it's maybe deliberately designed so that you don't see his face or body. It's this, this covering that goes over him. Uh, and he sits down, and there's this loud kind of like countdown, like beep, beep, countdown. Doot. Doot, doot. And it goes, ah, you know, and gives this loud buzzing noise. And you see his body convulse a little bit and then go slack. And there's some lights that light up on, on the owl. <clears throat> and then the machine very clearly kind of switches from processing to done, right? <clears throat> uh, Brainiac says, what would you like to do with the uh, inorganic remains? Um, I, I seek out his assistant. Your leader was a brave man, and although he will hopefully return to him, do you have burial rituals that you observe? <clears throat> um... <laughs> uh... <clears throat> Uh, we do have traditional burial rituals, but there is not time for that now, and we do not feel it would be appropriate for those who are not like us to observe said rituals. <clears throat> that is fair. Well, I leave the care of his former body to you. <clears throat> uh, we will... Um... And you just kind of see the other, the, them conferring, and then they get out uh, some sort of like tarp or blanket kind of thing, and they wrap the body up, and and to, the, the basically all of them, um, except for the one who's still attending to your dad, take the body upstairs, and they're gone for a couple minutes. <clears throat> all right, so uh, Brainiac then begins transferring the consciousness of Alaris into the blank that's being um, created. And as you peer out the window, you can see that it's only been, at this point now, it's been probably like five minutes. The doppelganger body is almost fully formed, right? <clears throat> and they drop, he drops the owl into a special slot in one of the consoles, and there's a variety of uh, lights that, that proceed to blink in a pattern of uh, the process goes back and forth. <clears throat> and then suddenly, you see the tank out there kind of like like burble up, like whatever water's in it is drained out, and a light comes on, and you see the figure sort of drop down. Uh, the light goes out, and through the wurgling and gurgling, suddenly in one of the adjacent chambers in the bioengineering chamber here, there is this doppelganger figure kind of just dispensed sloppy wet into this harness, kind of this net kind of uh, rig that they have to catch this thing. <clears throat> uh, there's a couple of probes that give it a couple of jolts, and then uh, it sort of leans forward. Do you have a name? My name is Alaris. How far back do you remember? I remember there was an attack, and I was wounded. 
And you asked me to put myself into this conveyance. It seems my trust was well founded. I think your people need you right now. Where are they? Uh, they took your uh, former body and I left it in their care. Yeah, maybe don't look at that. It'll just fuck you up. <laughs> Looking at your own corpse. Mm, that, that, that is my old self. This is my new self. Hi. Won't they all look the same? So wouldn't it just be looking at any other doppelganger? Feels not really. stronger and <laughs> better, more That's not healthy than I <laughs> was before. He's a fun ascot he wears. Tom forgot to mention it. He wears an ascot now? <clears throat> no, yeah. that's how you can tell him about uh, yes. the doppelgangers. <laughs> they have different scarves. My ascot, yes. <laughs> the, the paisley. Yes, I will go inform my people that the process has been surprisingly successful. All right, so your father and mother next. Yeah. Okay, so they just need their consciousness uploaded because... That's what Brainiac says. Right, Brainiac, they don't need to get their hand cut off because they're just going to go into a blank. Uh... <laughs> That's a good you, this is why I was confused. Are you making uh -huh. this up as you go, Brainiac? <laughs> yeah, I am not. Uh, if you want them to have the exact identical appearance that they had before, and I exact identical physical capabilities, then we will need to take some sort of sample. I mean, he said it was painless. It, yeah, okay. I was just trying it. to hurry it along. Yeah, sure. We do have... I'm sorry. <laughs> I should have handed this out earlier. We do have a variety of preloaded, uh, preloaded uh, biometric templates for you to choose from if you would like to uh, sleeve them into a different biologic life form. Yes, please let me form. see that list. <laughs> I want my mom to be an eight-legged badger. <laughs> Dragon down. Yes. Oh well. Aggressive. Can keep look. contained. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Where's the other one? Oh, I wish there were pictures. Quad <laughs> Oh, if someone knows German, we may well. I'm going to link one of these oh, up. Real sad fuck what is it on this. Use blank clone, clone template for fastest result. Oh my god, we can make an army of monsters. Let's do it. Let me look How up. How much of a our, sample do you need in order to make their, their clone look, <gasps> appear as them? Oh my god. Stephen Pope, thank, thank you wow. so much. Oh, David. Awesome. Oh, no. There's the first one. Holy, Holy no, shit. No, thank you. <laughs> Keep contained. <laughs> I told you what an Aurum Varox was. Is that the eight-legged badger? Yes. He only has four legs in this picture. That's because the other half of him is still time. inside the den. Gross. Gross. <laughs> um, so. Groaning spirit. <gasps> Right, well. uh, uh, they they need uh, uh, you know a few grams of flesh. It's not it's, it's not anywhere near as invasive. See, I think we were. This is why I was saying maybe we should do my my dying father, who's much more badly wounded before that other guy. But that's fine. I also wanted to make sure it worked. Good point. Good point. But he's gonna be dead either way, so I yeah. guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, but can we do that now? Can we yeah. just, we can hustle that along? All right. You can I? Uh, Get someone to help me carry the litter over to the mm -hmm. machine. And sure, maybe of course. Yeah, the, I mean, the, the doppelgangers in short order, they all come back and they all seem like. All right. It's odd. You read their body language, they seem very sort of. Like I know. I feel we, maybe trippy. you guys just go in the other room for a while. They, have we done something to offend your sister? No. I just figured that it's like. They're, we, it's, Genocide machine, and we're just over here. I, she's just. All of this is overwhelming for us. It's an overwhelming situation. It is. Sebastian has unleashed <laughs> the silver plague. We were not able to successfully seal deck 43. There's uh, some sort of alien intruder loose aboard the ship. Uh, our home conclave was massively destroyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the doppelganger genocide machine is upsetting for us. Somebody should be a ghost spider. 
Geister Spinner. Spinner? Spinner? Geister. All right, so. Uh, Iron Man, you can be Iron Man. Is Iron Man? <laughs> oh, God. Eisenman. Duval Hand. Oh, no. Duval Hand. A bat dog. Ah. Devil Child. All right. Well, let's get that your dad's hand cut off and then get no, the body. Uh, okay, back. you don't need to say it like that, and you know it. I'm just trying to be more like. Oh, you. if you're going to imprint him on one of the blank templates, you only need a few grams of a sample. Okay. It doesn't matter. He's whatever's fastest, and I, I want him to be like my dad. I don't want him. He won't. That's what they're saying. Like. No, he just said that he won't. If you want him to be exactly the same, you've got to take it. You got to give us some sort of sample, okay. right? Just a few grams. If 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 you take a, if you take an owl that has a consciousness in it and just upload it onto a doppelganger, it will approximate whatever that creature's appearance is to the best of the information stored on oh, okay. the thing, okay. right? If you want them to physically be identical and you use a doppelganger okay. body, and it then is... you need a little bit of a sample. If you don't have a doppelganger body, then you need to scan their whole their whole genetic pattern okay. and take a hand off. So this is faster. Probably just like the tip of a finger. And yeah, it and, is and, yeah okay. with a doppelganger, it's literally like a five minute process. Right? Okay, yes, now. Mm -hmm. Now. Okay. Ah. All right. So you put your dad's hand in the machine, and it, it, it zaps a little bit, um, but you know, doesn't take the whole thing off or anything like that. <clears throat> you put him in the chamber, and uh, Berniak goes and grabs one of the cassettes and loads it, and it loads him in there. And then the process begins in one of the biological chambers, where it begins regenerating him and imprinting his consciousness onto onto a doppelganger body. I'm gonna hold his hand while that happens. Okay. <clears throat> huh? Which hand? Which? I mean, which dad's well, hand? Your dad's dead. What? Yeah. What? I mean, the thing is, once his consciousness is in, in you know, they put the 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 kind of the call over him, the the blanket thing that the, that has all the sensors in it that reads his soul, if you will. Uh -huh. Once that process is over, he's. He just sort of like his whole autonomic system just sort of gives out. He essentially exhales very slowly once and then. Yeah, I want to hold his hand during that. Sure, okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> so that happens and then it drains out and you see the form of a hale hardy halfling get dropped into the, the webbing cradle here and. Zaps a couple times. Is he naked? And he is naked, yeah, absolutely. Again? <laughs> he says, God damn it, I'm oh, naked. Oh no. Oh boy. Somebody give me a towel. Dad, okay. stop Am I sporting around. wood? Stop. No, they gotta Am get you. Am I sporting wood? Well, they gotta get you I in hope not. And, uh, they gotta get you out of the net. Just not stop wiggling. What, the, what kind of weird drow magic is this? All right, you uh, you are being belligerent uh, and yeah. racist and you need to just yeah. chill out. <laughs> All right, somebody get him. Can some someone pants. pull the clothes off his I'm, corpse and put them on his... I'm no, a... do not touch my dad's corpse. Okay. Wait a minute, what? No. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, You're fine. Everything's what, fine. Nothing what, bad has ever happened. What do you happened. mean my corpse? Listen, can you just get... Okay. Uh, I probably have something. Oh, I have a costume kit. I'll just give him a, a, a fancy <laughs> pair of bloomers. <laughs> he puts a fancy player, pair of bloomers on. And he reaches in the pocket and there's a fan and a pen knife. He's like... You're oh, welcome. What? You're welcome. They're practical. Well. <laughs> Why are you hot? It is perfectly regulated. Why am here. I hot? I'm all dripping wet, but I feel all kind of sweaty inside. Well, he certainly is he feels your sweaty father, inside. that's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is my husband. What in Wait, What is? Do you need to tell him that What now? is happening right and now? And apparently I'm her daughter. No, kinda. that's not. Oh, boy. Well, so, yeah, so you get, so Kind of like adopted dog. How long was I unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, RJ. <laughs> Thanks, RJ. <gasps> Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know. Time works weird here, so I, I can't really tell. But... You're telling me, Abigail, come on over here and give me a smooch. <laughs> Wait, first we have to murder Mom, your, don't your do... wife. <laughs> oh yeah, she. Why don't you go around the corner? We need the. Uh... He goes goes over and gives her a big hug. He says, "I'm just joshing with these youngins. I I know we've been through a lot, and I I tell you, I feel right as rain. I feel ready to take on the world." 
Okay, let's not though, because remember when you did that last time and you got like captured and enslaved and almost died because all your body parts got cut off of you? Who put a mouth on you? Last well, time I saw you, you was 10 years old. Yeah, Abandonment about that. did. You got, oh, well that's on me, I guess. I didn't mean to. Now hold on. Now man. I know where you got so bucky from. All right, it's my fault. I'll own up to we it. We have to cut off one of your wife's I fingers. I should have put you in the eight-legged badger body. I should have, it would have been more Wait funny. a minute. Are you telling me I could have been an eight-legged badger? I mean, it's still possible if you'd like to be. No. Or you could be a ghost spider. Stop. Oh, wait a minute. Or an oh. Iron Man. Oh. All of you are horrible. <laughs> now it's starting to get weird. I saw a bright dog or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, no, Blitzhound. Yeah. It basically but just it, looks like an evil bat It dog. was like bright dog or something. Yeah. Says Google Translate. No, you were fine the way you are with your fancy little pants on, okay? But now we gotta we gotta run mom through the process, so you have to let go of her. Process? Did you just, did you just have Grayson cast some sort of spell on me or something? Let's yes, go we did. with that. Yeah. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. That's exactly. Well, have at it, Grayson. But it's All the right. kind of spell you can't look at when you cast it's it. It's got some very yeah, complicated will you just, components. Just go with uh, Thawne in the other room and, and we just tell him about that yeah, yeah. chili recipe. Come with me and I'll tell What chili recipe? Chili recipe? Shut you, the front door. I want to hear about you marrying my daughter. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah, I should okay, tell you about that. Okay, don't tell him anything about that. You told him I was married to you. I mean, don't mention the that. tattoo, certainly. Oh, come yeah. on. You just I have what? one, too. <laughs> A tattoo? Yeah, Alex. everybody has one. It has dragons on it. I'll explain. He like looks in his bloomer. She's like, I don't know where mine is. No, remember that lie we made up that we told those other people? To just tell him that one because he doesn't need to know like the mm -hmm. real story. About Ever, I, I can tell when you are lying. I am your father. Literally, I trained for years so you couldn't. <laughs> and you haven't known me for like eight years. Try one Wait, on me. Wait, ten years. Try one on me. James V. James V. James, 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 thank you. Let's hear it. What do you got? Try one. You want me to lie to you? Yeah, give it a whirl. Okay. You were not just put in a, a, some sort of mechanical machine and brought out as a new person. I'm, I'm having a hard time. Do you, do you follow this at all? Uh-huh. <laughs> Is she lying right now? Uh-huh. Liar. <laughs> Was I not supposed to say that? No, Ava. <laughs> no. I like her. Why don't you marry her? All yeah. right. All she right. wasn't I'm born only, yet. Yeah, I'm four days. Five All days right. old? Mr. Birdsong. Okay, okay. you know what I've I learned know. right now? Come I'm going to stop asking questions. Why don't we go in the other room and we'll talk about how you and my daughter uh -huh. somehow having nuptials. Uh, okay, let's, we'll not go that far. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so you take him up to the uh, observation thing where you can kind of see the tanks and whatnot. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and yeah, so you follow the process for your mom. She's sort of like, she's like, Avril, I told you I wasn't going to go first. <laughs> you were, you're not dying, dying. That's Dad true. is right. dying. I am sort of dying. Have you seen this thing? Yeah, it goes it's all a slow crawl. Now. Dad was literally on the brink of death. Really, in this time, you're going to be selfish like that? <laughs> I mean, honestly, Miss Birdsong, I, I think the only reason why he survived this long is because of the power of Torm. Oh, are we back on that shit? Well, I'm not here. It's probably Bart mm -hmm. Shaw. Oh, what, maybe. What did, what has Torm said to you lately? Uh, nothing. He doesn't speak in words, but He's uh, so I, feel, I, I feel. I yeah. feel. You know, I, I I feel his presence, and I I felt him wanting your husband to stay with us. I gotta be frank with you. I'm glad that you can feel Torm's presence because I've been praying and praying and praying to Joaquin sitting by Tobias's bedside for hours upon hours, my heart and soul reaching out to her, asking for her to intervene. I got nothing back. I think it's because only Barshala seems to be here. It's... What is, what is her, who is this again? Um, her daughter, kind of. I guess, I don't know. But you seem about the same age as she does. Well, she's an avatar of Barshala. The water goddess. Oh. Can't you tell? Can't you feel that coming off her? Oh yeah, you 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 need to take a shot for that, so I don't kill you. Should I'm we? hoping we just get out of here before that's necessary. But yeah. if not, that is a great idea. Anyways. I bet there's something in here, maybe. <laughs> I tell you what, 
I am going to take my prayer beads and I'm going to go sit in that chair and I'm just going to let whatever happens just sort of roll over me. Cool. And with Torm's guidance or Joaquin's intervention or... Barshala. Barshala's divine grace and motivation. Hopefully I'll come out the other side of this as, as well off as jackass husband of mine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. All right, so uh, you put her through the process. It goes off without a hitch. So she comes out as an eight-legged badger. <laughs> yeah, try to belittle me now, Mom. <laughs> and then attacks you and all eight legs. You kind of rend your I mean, guts open and there's intestines all over the floor and you die. Before you die, they upload you into a body. They create a new uh, <laughs> Avril, exactly the same as the one that you were before, except without all the oh blood and guts and you know your entrails coming out of your body. You pop up wet, brand new. The badger attacks you again. You do this three more times and then you feel like you've What's learned that? your lesson. What's that RPG with the word? Paranoia. Paranoia. Just, we're just playing <laughs> paranoia. paranoia right now. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> So, uh, you have successfully cured your uh, mother and father. Oh. About this time, <laughs> uh, I have a nice dress. Your <laughs> wrist radio goes off, and uh, <laughs> you all hear, like, hey, hello, hello, uh, 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 Grayson? Grayson? Yes, meet Grayson. Uh, have, uh, have, uh, have you done something to the sheep? Have we done something to the sheep? I think there was a whole rend, rend in it. What's the word? Uh, rend? Hull breach. Uh, hull breach? Hull breach? Huh? A hull breach? That's, uh, that's very, <laughs> very bad. That's very bad. <laughs> Why did you do that, Grayson? That's not good. <laughs> That's not a good thing. That was not what we were calling about, but uh, that's, that's not good. Yes, a whole bridge is a very bad thing. Yes. Yes. Say, Frank, hurry. Uh, Frank. <laughs> Don't, Frank, hurry. No. Don't get him all worried. He gets weird. No. Uh, can, can you come to Dick 44? Uh, Dick. <laughs> well, uh, we, we'll try. we try. Uh, but uh, we have to tell you that uh, there is a, a, a massive power drain. They're happening on the ship. Uh, we, <laughs> you know, we, when uh, we reconfigure, apparently something shift in the ship. Hmm? But uh, there something on uh, deck twenty one. Deck twenty one drain much power, much That's power nice. from uh, system. Uh, it drains so much power that uh, down here the uh, uh, induction coils, hmm? huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? induction coils that maintain trans warp field, uh, beginning to uh, cool off and shut down. Uh, so if trans warp induction coils don't get enough power, then the trans warp wheel uh, field uh, collapse around ship and uh, ship go boom. Uh, well, uh, not a boom because it will not go boom. Uh, more. Of a, it's a crunch. <laughs> kind of, uh, kind of, and everyone very small. I'm, I'm going to talk to my doppelganger friends. I'm like, <laughs> I don't fully understand what he's trying to say to me, uh, but you guys might. <clears throat> he says, deck 21, uh, massive power drain uh, affecting the induction coils, which is bad for the ship. Uh, hmm. And Alaris turns to one of his compatriots, and I said they've set up like a bunch of equipment that they have plugged into various panels and whatnot that you didn't even know were in the bioengineering chamber, right? And you start to see sort of like uh, deck plans of the ship come up, and and you actually see a like three D visualization of the outside of the ship. And uh, f first they like pull through the deck plans, and and uh, there's kind of like you know you've heard that like noise before, um, and then they kind of like punch in a code, and, and they punch in another code, and it goes and a doo -doo -doo -doo. override initiated, and and it decrypts, and you can see that deck 21 is a, 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 like completely separated off from the rest of the ship, except for a couple of very small access points, 
um, very specific access points. Normally, like there's the, there's all of these like turbo shafts and lifts and things like that that take you between different areas of the ship, and it's designed to transfer a lot of people around rapidly in different directions. But this level is apparently cut off, and Alaris says, "Oh, this is." Interesting. Um, deck 21 was a secret deck of the ship. It was dedicated to some sort of military mission, which only the captain and two key members of the crew were privy to. I don't understand why it would suddenly become active though. And so then he you know, has his assistant begin scanning further and uh, y you get this you know, 3D schematic of the outside of the ship. It's not in complete detail, right? There's, you can tell that there's pieces missing and uh, Lars explains that there's parts of the ship that they can't scan because it's, had so much, it's undergone so much damage, right? <clears throat> but all of a sudden, they kind of like they manage to get an angle where they zoom in on a particular portion of deck 21, and you can see that there's something that looks almost like a weird, like worm or slug type of thing with um, uh, like long tentacle kind of whiskers coming out the front front of it, and it has this strange bulbous kind of shape. Mm, let me, in fact. Just draw a quick little picture of what it looks like. <clears throat> so you see essentially sort of like the side of the ship goes like this, right? And then attached to the ship Ooh. Looks more like a grab thing, space wheel view. So it looks like this. Hmm? So this is the side of the ship, and then this we thing were just talking about is attached to it. You came in. And it looks like it's got several. You know, they have the biggest eyes of all creatures. It's got either so several cables or or hooks or whatever that are going in through some sort of rupture in the in the in, or opening in the deck here, right? Mm -hmm. You can't get a lot more detail than that. But oh. so I guess space is kind of like a big ocean with things like that that swim around. This craft is of a design that is not stored anywhere within the data systems that we can access. It appears to be largely organic. Uh, That's troubling. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So they're siphoning power. It sounds like, and that's bad. Yes, they appear to be draining most of the power reserves out of the ship. That we have to. That's something we have to stop. How do we? How do we even get there? That's so far away from here. It's true. Um, if you were to travel inside the ship, it would take hours, perhaps over a day just to clear enough debris to get up to deck 21. We're on deck 44. It's a long way to go, and those upper decks have sustained especially severe damage. We've never ventured that far up in the ship. However, if you were to travel along the hull of the ship, you might be able to make good time. It would certainly be a more direct, although still dangerous path well, we can swim. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can hold our breath. We should be all right. <laughs> I think you may need something more than just holding your breath. Well, I, I can uh, make it to where we can breathe underwater. The outside of the ship, thanks to the Bard, the, bard. Uh, the, the outside of the ship is not water. It is a roiling void of uh, transwarp folding space. Oh, that doesn't sound, I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound good. No. With, w within approximately 60 of your feet of the ship, 
the dimensional pocket is relatively stable. Once you get outside that area, well, you have the risk of being sucked into trans-dimensional space and then either <laughs> crushed, crushed outright by the various gravimetric for for forces which would ply your body or be shunted into some sort of strange extra-dimensional space. But what all of if, these are unpleasant alternatives. What if we were all ghost spiders? <laughs> hmm. Well, he said 60 feet, so from the ship. So apparently we can walk it. How? But we can't just go walking out there. We need. How, how do we protect ourselves out there? If we hmm. were out there, how long would it take us to move from 44 to 21? Would it be faster as ghost spiders? We are not going to turn into ghost it's spiders. It's an option. We should use it. Okay? <laughs> How do you even know that that says ghost spider? Because Ava knew. It looks like ghost spider. Based on what knowledge? She's very clever. You, you, you Marshala told me. <laughs> okay, oh. fair enough. Uh, depending, <laughs> depending upon your method of travel, it would take somewhere less than an hour. I mean, I've got the cube of force, but that's not going to last an hour. Yeah. Oh. That's what I was going to ask. I mean, what... They might have... Yeah. And you see the doppelgangers kind of, like, look at each other and, again, appear to have their own private conversation. Mm -hmm. And, um... Uh, I mean, I could listen in, but that'd be weird. <laughs> Bold so and parchment know. shears. Thank, Thank you for the bits. Um, <laughs> Whoa! Uh, and they say, yes, for your survival, for all our survival, we have some resources which you may find useful. And they begin like Go opening up, the, op opening up these, wow. uh, these uh, cases and whatnot. But also, oh, <clears throat> they oh my God. pull up a um, they, they, pull up a, they, pull, they have the ship schematic, right? The deck plans, right? And they blah, 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 scroll through it. And they begin kind of scanning, right? And they go, mm, hmm, ah, yes, interesting. Well, that that is fortunate. Uh, the terraforming mech storage area has been completely repowered, and the <laughs> equipment therein has been completely charged. Okay, what does that have to do? We're trying to talk about how we get out of the ship. What is the <laughs> terra mech store? What? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they turn. He, he he manages to he he manipulates some buttons, and he turns on a security camera. <clears throat> you can be mine? Ridley from Aliens. <laughs> and you see there's this huge hangar bay here, right? <clears throat> uh, and inside you see four terraforming mechs. <gasps> This reminds me of that Monday Night Dungeon fight where you spent all that. You went to Walmart and bought all these like these toys that were supposed to be mechs, but then you left them at home, so we had to use gum containers. Well, we had to use what? Gum containers. They're hero clicks. <laughs> they are. <clears throat> Some sort of mech warriors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, those are environmentally sealed. They should provide uh, proper shelter from whatever forces you might encounter outside. You all right, Abdul? I wonder. They are equipped with magnetic grapples so that they will stick to the surface of the hull. And they should have enough power to get you to where you need to go. But, but then also more so <laughs> beyond, you know, transportation, like step on something. They, they, they can step on things, yes. I did watch Chris. They, they may be today. too. They may be too large to navigate the interior of whatever craft that is. I am unclear as to what the dimensions are internally. We dare not scan it for fear of uh, attracting unwanted attention. We'll, so. we'll figure it out. Does, does your uh, does your scry pad or whatever does it tell you what's above the and below that deck? Anything dangerous we should know about? <clears throat> Mm -hmm. uh, we are detecting a great deal of robotic activity in that in those two decks. Oh. 
All right. Well, let's uh, not There go seems in. to be a mm, activation of a large force of mechanical life forms at, on those two decks. They're conducting some sort of operation. It's unclear exactly what it is. We do not have visuals on that deck. Maybe that's Sebastian fighting back or something? Maybe. I'm gearing we'll up for a push. I don't know. All right. Well, let's get in these constructs and get out there as soon as we can. Let's do I have anything left to do here? I mean, you think my parents are okay with your doppelganger buds? As okay as they'll be anywhere on the ship. Do they know humans like need food and stuff? Or halflings need like food and stuff and like I mean a toilet? I'm sure your parents can inform them of their needs. I'm sure my mom will actually know yeah. that you mentioned that. I'm sure she'll let them I don't know. you know, it's been a, it's been a few years, but I'm pretty sure Mr. and Mrs. Birdsong aren't just gonna sit around and starve to death. I don't know. They did like let themselves get like kidnapped into another dimension. So. I think it'll be fine. All right. <laughs> yeah, it fucking better be. All right. Is there uh, anything <clears throat> else that you want to do before you leave the bioengineering chamber? Should we make an arm? No, there's only four robots. Okay, never mind. Wait, I have an idea. Hmm. So, hear me out. We don't have a lot of don't time. Don't say ghost spiders. I'm not going to say ghost spiders. You are. I'm not. We don't have a lot of time, and I'm not feeling at full health right now. So what if we, you know, tossed our hand in there, made a sort of new body? I assume that body, they said they come out and they feel great. I assume I would feel great with a new body. I just, I don't want to do it unless I have to. I'm not saying you have to, but we don't have a lot of time, and who knows if we're going to be f facing Xanathar, of all things, up there. It would be good to be at full power. And if maybe we have eight legs made of ghost material... Well, you can do that. They could help. If you want to yeah. be a ghost spider, yeah. okay. no one's going to stop Joking you. Joking about ghost spider, that's... This is your chance to be the badger of your dreams. <laughs> We could both have eight legs! <laughs> oh, God. Why not just be ghostly? Uh, so just, just an idea. I can go first if that's... And I think maybe that'll get rid of this robot eye, too. What do you guys think? I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure if it would work on Ava. Yeah, I don't know that it would uh, either. Why not? She's like... She's living material. She's as real as any of us. Well, it depends on what your definition of real is, and then it depends on what his definition of real is. Yeah. Well, also, she's, she's in a lot of ways more than us. You also might have to reattune to Dawnbreaker if you do that. I mean, it says it keeps all our memories and such. I don't see why it wouldn't remember me. It would still be like attuning to a new body, though. I don't know how it works. It's just a, I'm just playing no, no, devil's right. advocate right. here. I did not think that far ahead. I cannot risk being disconnected from Wave. Uh, so our cool tattoos will be gone. And... What? Yeah. Let's get in. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> right now. Uh, Watch, that's a part of our genetic makeup at this point. <laughs> it is a curse. <laughs> yeah. You want to get rid of your tattoo, but we all have. One. Yeah, I'm kind I know. of attached to it now. Oh, but the dragon isn't, he's annoying. He's cute. Look. Is he over there? Well, There's... as long as he stays over there. He likes the water. Oh. <laughs> hey, Rena. How's it going today? Hmm? Splash. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> she likes Hi, it. Hi, Oh, God. <laughs> Why that voice, though? That's Medusa myself. I'm going to blow a bubble. It's fun. Somebody talks to you when you're bored. She really seems to like you, Ava. Well, water. Right. I have water in here. Wee-hee! Tickling it on your wrist? 
<laughs> I shove Ava into the <laughs> machine. You like chop off her hand and throw it. <laughs> what if we ask for Sharla? Ask her what? Uh, yeah, if, we can if ask. We will retain those things going in this machine. Okay. Yeah. If you want to reach out to Sharla and ask. I'm just wondering if we might need her more later. I don't know if I'll I need... have health potions if you're just hurting. Yeah. I am, but also, I don't know if I want to keep this thing with me for the rest of my life. You should have fucking thought about that. I thought about it, but Grace didn't pull me up fast enough. <laughs> no, you had a bad plan. You said, L put me in there, and then if like I decide I don't want to be, take me out. That it is not a, plan. a good plan, no. It was like real immediate. That's like jumping in a volcano, but being like, but pull me out if I'm having a bad time. You would pull me out immediately. You'd still be covered in lava. But you'd pull me out. Mm -hmm. No, it would probably be too hot before I even got anywhere close to you. Well, no one's been that close to a volcano, so let's not assume things. I bet uh, Ava has. In a past life. <laughs> lava avatar. I mean, we also need to ask Marshall, or maybe Ava knows this, how do we, I assume Barshala wants a body, how does, how do... Whoa. We need, we need the God's fire. Okay. Mm, you, okay. But you, okay. We can make it from the God's fire. Well, we can ask her if this is the machine that will do it once we get, like, do we put God's fire in there and she comes out? Like, how does that work? I don't know. Well, I figured we'd get to the God's fire and she'd let us know. Well, we could ask her now. Wait, I thought you were the God's fire. No, she has some of it in I her. Have oh, the God's fire. but there's, okay. Yeah. Right. I, I also have some in me. What? Yeah. Well, yeah, okay, me too. Yeah. I mean, well, Wait, with Wave I? and... No. Oh. No. That's what's killing you. Oh, right, right, right. Not being the a ghost slow, fire is killing me. merciful death. Uh, I think it's oh. worth asking her now. I don't know if we'll have a chance later. I just, I wonder if there's just going to be something more important later to ask her about. There will always be something more important. That's, That's haunting. Also true. <laughs> and I doubt if... If it comes down to it, Barshal is going to decide, nah, I won't tell him that, even though it's what I want. Mm, that's a good a point. All right, well, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'll, I'll do whatever you want. What if we just call her and ask her, hey, can we ask you some more questions? Like one question now, one question later? Oh. <clears throat> you try. Split C's? I don't think it works that way. Well, that'll be one of the questions. Well, that's a waste of money. Yeah, that's a waste of money. But what if she says yes, and that's fine? <laughs> no, won't. then we only have two questions mm -hmm. left anyway. Why don't we have one after that? All right. Just, just if you want to call question. her, just call her. Did you hear all that, Bershaw? Are you always listening? Or don't ask her. Ask the wall. If you <laughs> ask, if you waste one fucking question. I only have one. And uh, so suddenly out of, the, uh, out of that you know, biologic chamber where, you know, Tobias and Abigail and Alaris all kind of like washed through. Suddenly there's this downpour, this rain of uh, warm seawater. You can smell the salty air kind of come rushing up. And uh, suddenly you see the avatar of Basharla appear in the web, in the, the cradle of the thing. Is she naked? And uh, she has like little drifting pieces of like uh, fog and, and foam and whatnot <laughs> that are uh, very tastefully covering. And every time we for... look, there's like, a, there's like a cup or a pen in the way or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's the best thing in the way. Yeah, just don't ask her to uh, crawl up any stairs. So she suddenly appears and uh, she looks at you all. Barshal is with you. Great. <clears throat> just ask that question, not any other ones, just the one. Okay. Uh, if I put myself in this machine, will the new me retain a, con a connection to Dawn Razor and will I regain, will I retain my? My markings on my body. It's a new body. Wait, that's not a yes or a no. Yeah, what, wow. What happened? What? So, uh, so the answer is no. Oh, okay. Well, ask the answer. Okay, now we have to think of two more questions. We should probably ask if the God's Fire is on deck 21. Well, we know where do it we, is. Where, where is it? It's in, 20, it's in 46. 
Well, then we'll That's the power point. But then why would anybody go to deck 21? Well, because that's they're draining power, but that's where the engine is. And that's where all the radiation is, which is what we call God's power. All right, well, unless you have a better question or two, this is the one I say we ask, but go, I asked mine, so. Is there a way for us to get you a new body on this ship. Yes, Barshala is with you. Uh, oh. What? Oh. One more. I was gonna, <clears throat> should we ask if it is on 46? Well, I think, I think she's trying to hint that Barshala is with us. We, we already have a sample of Barshala. So we should just put her in there. No, I don't know if that's what she said. Can, should we, can should we, we clarify? You, can we make you, can we make Barshala a new body with this machine? Yes. Oh, then let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 and and with hands. that, she, be, she dissolves into a, 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 a pleasant ocean fog. And the mist sort of swirls around your, um, around your feet. So, what would you? How do you intend to go about this? Uh, I well, I assume what you said. So, can what, I put? Can what, I just say, what? What? Uh, Brainiac, do you have sorry, the consciousness God. of Barshala <laughs> on file in one of those containers? Can I, my I do not. <laughs> no. So. Well, you're sort of like mm, idea. What if? Go spider. <laughs> what if? You, I don't know how avatars work, avatars work, but like maybe if they work like this, you could like open up your heart and mind to Barshala and she could crawl in there and then we could download that being and then, and then she could get out of you. I mean, I am a part of Barshala. But like what if you let her like fully, fully up in there? Okay. I don't know. It's just an idea. I have no idea how you work, or how you happened, or what that means. I said, but you threw a pearl into the ocean, and then it was me. Oh yeah. See, I don't understand that. <laughs> but, we but I don't know because if we if, if we just take yours, then it'll just be a new Ava, right? I don't know. I mean, if it is, then we then we know it's not that, right? At worst, we get a new Ava. She's At best, we get a goddess. But then Wait, we but Ava. then no Ava? Yeah, and then we lose well, Ava. Well, no, I'm sure she can grant us that. She's a goddess. I'm sure she can give us Ava as a... Is she going right? to want to? Why wouldn't she? I don't we did all this for her, right? She would do that, but right? But that doesn't mean, even if she wanted to, she might not be able to. I mean, last time we got her, we had to throw a pearl in a very specific part of the ocean. And I think, sadly, Ava wouldn't care if she stopped existing and Whoa. Varshala did. Uh, uh, I'm here to bring Varshala her. back. Yeah. What the? But that doesn't... Yeah. But you're our... Your family now. Because I'm your daughter? In a, yes. In a sense, but you're our family. You're part of us. Well, I'm sure I could stay if I wanted to. Varshala is all about free choice, independent choice. Right. I, I okay. mean, I think she would grant us, as your service, as an avatar, she would grant you that at least, or us. We did all this. Probably. Well, what should... if we? What if we just make a blank, and then and then we just call upon Barshala to embody it. We could try that. Maybe she doesn't need a, a soul tube. Maybe she just needs. The blank canvas, right. and her being so powerful could be her own soul tube. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's so. So at worst, you lose part of your finger. At, in that, we wouldn't even take your soul into. Well, we an wouldn't owl. even need to put Ava in. We yeah. would just need to produce an organic blank. Yeah, okay. with Ava. sure. And and put it out there for. Well, we would need uh, some of Ava to. You make think it, so? To make yeah. it look like her. Yes. Right. Oh, let's try it. Be a ghost but let's not put the, the weird blanket on her. No, no, yeah, no, we don't no, need that's to. What we're I don't yeah. want to so delete just, her. Maybe just stick a pinky in there. Okay. Not that pinky. 
Okay. That's his favorite <laughs> creep. <laughs> so you, you put your hand in this in the scanning machine and the little laser goes back and forth over you um, and you don't feel anything happening, but you also don't see like, you notice that, that when the other people have put their their hand in this thing, at least part of it, like ha there was like a little square that was missing, you know, off the back of their hand or something like that. If not their whole, you know, obviously their his whole hand, the Alaris's whole hand went away. But you don't see anything, and and the machine just keeps going, not, not, not. I don't. It wasn't this slow before. Machine. Please place organic material into the fine uh, the <laughs> fine nucleic analyzer. Did we did? Please place organic material in the fine nucleic analyzer. Uh, maybe. Okay. I don't think it's gonna work. We're missing something here. What? I mean, what if we just make the plank and put Brainiac. it put it out? Brainiac, throw it in the water. If Hello, I'm Brainiac. Yes. I'm here to help. How can I help you? Uh, if if a, a creature is deceased, is it still considered? Is it still viable to gain component parts from it? We could form an incomplete sample, but living tissue needs to be sampled for a fully accurate rendering. Okay. Do you have a piece of dead Barsharla? No, but she's on this ship somewhere. <gasps> no, she got pushed out. She no. was exiled. No. She got it's, pushed out. She was exiled by staying on the ship. I right. had, I had right. that vision. Oh. She, yeah. She, I thought some, she got pushed her, into the ocean. Whatever her, whatever Porno. the, the hey. thing, Porno. the container she was in, was somehow sabotaged and filled with water, and she drowned within it on the ship somewhere. Oh shit, that's a fucking good idea. Where is it? I, d I don't know. It was, I, I'll ask Alaris, do you know of a, a spot where those that were on the ship that escaped, they, they climbed into small chambers uh, to, to, as if when they were leaving the ship, would you know where that area is? Yes, I'm familiar with that area. It suffered a massive fire approximately 800 cycles ago. AKA, <sighs> she, gone? I, I mean, she'd be ashes at this point. She was in, we wouldn't be able to identify her. She was in her. a suit, though, like, like mine. Well, let's light you on fire and see if your suit stays. All right. Well, Prank! <laughs> Got him! Like, <laughs> <laughs> I have a malt on? Yeah. <laughs> What do you think, Ava? Well, Varshala said we need to get the God's Fire, so maybe we need that first. Maybe if we put, well, is God's Fire organic, do you think? I don't know. It's energy. It doesn't seem to want to read what does me, that mean? and I'm covered in it. That's true. What, what about you, Brainiac? Are you able to locate um, organic materials on the ship? Uh, I am not tied into that portion of the info stream. I am under a private subnet. Is there something in here that can register what material we are made out of? That is the f uh, fine nucleic sequence analyzer. That's the thing you stuck your hand in. Oh. <laughs> well, well. Can it tell me what I am if I'm not organic material? Uh, according to the readings that I'm receiving from our fine nucleic sequence analyzer, we are recalibrating. Uh, apparently, you have a unique energy signature and are mm, what might be considered to be an energy doppelganger. Oh, I've heard that twice now. Energy doppelganger? Is there a machine that's able to, to pick up and, and, I don't know, copy her? Uh, I, I don't know, words? Uh, I think energy? Energy, her s Not to my knowledge. I think it's, I mean, I don't, who, who knows? I don't understand how half the stuff that's going on, if that. But Barshala was a person like many of the gods and is dead, but her spirit still lingers. And Ava and all of her sisters are not, are not, People in the traditional sense of flesh and blood, although she is corporeal, she is more a being of energy that is in this form 
right now, but she's not traditional flesh and blood like the three of us. Okay. So what if we just put a blank out in the middle of the room and tell Barshala to enter it or see if she wants to? Mm-mm. We try it. We don't get to boss her around, but... Yeah, it couldn't hurt. Let's just do it. Worst case scenario, the doppelganger gains its own consciousness and you've got a new friend. Aww. <laughs> That's not the worst case. You know, not worst case <laughs> scenario. You know what I mean. Worst case scenario, we stare at the corpse for five minutes. All right. Um, so, so is that your plan is to just kind of start up the machine and then invoke Barshala somehow and yeah. say, there's a body, go... Go for it, or whatever. Yeah. Create new blank CD. Is there a prayer we can do or something? Mm-hmm. We can just call for Barshala. Yeah. She, she seems hum. to listen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You could, <laughs> no, you're, no, go for it. I mean, she. Oh, okay. You, you, this is this all sing, begins. Oh, sing yeah. through wave. Through, so. A hold wave. What do, you, what do you think, Wave? Should we like pray or hum or let something? Let us pr- let us pray to the great goddess Marshala. Mar who? Barshala. Oh, okay. Garshala. All right, that's enough. Sarshala. All right. Open yourself to the possibilities of her presence. Barshala, reveal yourself to us that we may aid you in Avril's and Ava's holy quest. Anything? Hello? You kind of poke the body. Don't do that. <laughs> Disrespectful. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> if there's a bat trapped in here, I'm going to be really it excited. Sounds like there's, it, it, don't make it, it sounds like a bird, like a sparrow or something. So you um, you 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 sit I don't know in a circle or something like that and and pray to Barshala and you see the chamber bubbling out there and whatnot Fingers. and there is just a slight breeze that goes around the inside of the chamber uh, and the two of you feel sort of a fluttering whisper pass by you. You scratch who does? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't think she's gonna take the bait. Uh, whoa. All right. What? What do you think, Ava? <laughs> Barshala has terrible penmanship. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't have a body, so. <laughs> mm. Oh. I still have this. It's the pearl. What if we? What if we put this in water somewhere? There's water above? Where, where are we? Outside. Wait, above us. Outside. There's a, a window. Where are we? Uh, we're, on, <laughs> we're on this island right now. We're, we're up. Yeah, you're down in the down below. Yeah, right. so down. We just you're underneath go, the water, actually. We just have to go take the elevator up and then. Let's try that. Well, uh, OK. Come on. Did, right. You seem very sure of this. Yeah, let's do it. I think right. it'll work. It's where I came from. So we'll go up. So up. we just climb out of. The- okay, bye guys. Bye. Mom, Dad. Don't be weird or horrible or like leave or do anything stupid. We're we're related to you. You remember that, <laughs> right? Okay, okay. I just don't want something bad to happen to you. Okay, so I need you to just like keep it together. Okay, and don't. These guys are going to protect you, and you should not leave their like protection. All right. <laughs> You Promise me. You, you haven't led us astray so far, Avril. We're, we're, we're willing to take your advice. Good. I love you, whatever. I, I, I love you, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I love Better you, you, but enough. whatever. But whatever. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> what is that? It's a pearl. Red? Oh. It's Clearly, red. a pearl. Well, how come he's got a black pearl? Yeah. yeah. This is a uh, Crap of the Caribbean. <laughs> My favorite RPG. Uh, yeah, throw it in the water. 
All right, you throw it in the water and it instantly dissolves and it forms sort of like this shimmering, uh, uh, sparkling foam on, on the water. It's a bath bomb. Um, and and, the, uh, oh and the, the pool begins to kind of like, you can tell that the pool begins to rock upside, uh, up and down. And upside down? Oh the, so the weird, you know, so the waves the are coming frog. towards you, right? <laughs> and you get, the, whole, the whole ship goes upside down, yeah. Um, That's so funny. Yeah, so, but, but this foam <laughs> washes up on, back onto the shore where you're standing on the edge of the beach here. And it all sort of like clusters around Avril's ankles. The fuck? Uh, what's happening? Ava, what is, what's going on? I don't know, maybe we should take some of it. Take the foam? Yeah, okay, yeah, it. get it away from me. And as you as you take it, it just sort of like drizzles through your fingers and then it kind of disperses and uh, there 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 are sort of strands and bits of it that sort of cling to your your leggings and trousers and whatnot. Maybe but. you should go put something in the machine. Maybe it's you. Me what? Maybe you need to. Maybe it needs to read you to create, Barshala. We're gonna trust icky icky pond foam. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it's water. Right, okay, it's Barshala. No, no, She's you, talking to you. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was great. Um. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to go to the machine and and get scanned. Is that the plan? Yeah. Just a little bit, Brainiac. Sure. I don't want another me. No one wants that. No more than two fingers. No, no fingers. Just a thumb. No, I 100% need that. Put your nose in. No. <laughs> you want that tattoo removed? I can take it off. Yes, y yes. What, no. Lean yeah, into the machine. No. I don't like that dragon. Can, too bad. Just what about her hair? <laughs> what about my hair? What color hair would you like? No, I we like can my hair. We can reconfigure like, your appearance. I was Ooh. just saying like, if they could do hair, you know, that grows back, whereas fingers don't. I. No. Hair, is, hair is not living tissue. Okay, I don't know. Hair follicles, put your scalp in the machine. No, okay, yeah, you can take the chunk out of my back that has the tattoo in it. What? <laughs> Come on. What? We all have that. Cool, you guys will still have it. Come on, it's special. Fine, take, I don't know. Can I, can I just like cut a chunk out of my arm and throw it in there? <laughs> uh, you may, res you, you, you may, may, that may create question questionable results. Fine. What's it, what it's an inobtrusive part? Uh, if, if, if you how about a toe? No, I need like my phalanges, man. I mean, if, if what if you take like a piece what if I just get like skin. a chunk yeah, here? Yeah, and we could just heal that away. Just get sure. a chunk out of the top of my arm here. That sounds great. Not my whole arm. I will not remove your whole arm. And we don't <laughs> want an Avril copy, all right? We just want to... If you don't want an Avril copy, why are you scanning Avril? What are we doing here? I don't know. <laughs> it won't scan me, and the sea foam went to you, so we're trying to see if that will work for Bashala. Can we put the foam in there? We could try. Did we bring the foam? The, the foam was not something that you could collect. It's oh, stuck yeah? to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, what, whatever, do, do the thing. Probably should have put the pearl in there. Okay. <laughs> no, it had to go in the water. Takes a little chunk off of you. Ooh. All right. What, what, is it, what does the scan say? This appears to be a half-link female. Hmm. Mm. Plan. She's a little bucky. A little I, bucky? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I'm bad talk it doesn't actually about say that. that. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, well, we, okay. Oh, okay. Um, and we'll just make the, the copy and then. Yeah, try what, it. Me, uh, what, but, it uh, but my personality's not in there. It won't be yeah. me. It'll be just look like well, me. Then, I mean, but naked, then we'll look at it. I w Everybody look I'm at it. Make a I'm not gonna. <laughs> We can't make a vessel without a personality upload. She's gonna upload herself. Please insert the owl that contains Barshala. Wait, do we have an owl that contains Barshala? 
Oh, Wait. fuck, we might. Don't you have one? Do I have one? You picked one up very early. I yeah. do have one. I didn't know who was in it. Try. I guess we could well, get what if it's an asshole? We get scanned. <laughs> and it's in my body! We're gonna have to kill asshole me! <laughs> slightly. Only if it has a good like, tea. slightly more asshole. We should have asked fucking hey. Barshal if I had her soul. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Remember when I said it, when her question would be maybe, more useful hey, later? Maybe we can ask Brainiac who's in here. Yeah, that also does it. Brainiac, who's in here? Please insert the owl sleeve so that I may read uh, the contents. In where? In your butt? Wait. <laughs> Into the biologic animus reintegration device. Okay, I don't want it put in the thing yet. I just want to know what's in there. I just want you to read it and tell I me. I will not activate the process until I have read the contents. Okay, you promise? I am incapable of lying. <laughs> <laughs> I like that about you. You know what else I, I like about I have no you? feelings about that in either <laughs> in, in, in any case. That's the other thing I like about you. That he's in the Let's get level. tattoos together. <laughs> uh, I've had enough of that. Okay. He paints a dragon on himself. <laughs> All right. So uh, you put the owl, which you have dutifully carried with you, low these. I forgot about that. Fifteen weeks. <clears throat> <laughs> and uh, Thon, your eye like suddenly begins to pulse, and you can see one of the screens like come to life, right? And uh, you see body. God. this scrolling pattern, just Describe like it. over and over, just <laughs> and then your eye, you know, winces, and it begins to translate. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it stops and it says, Barshala is with you. She's there. How is it that I pick up one of these things and it's fucking Barshala? I guess it's meant to be. That's how it so works. So maybe we don't have to put it in your body? Because they say that they do the approximation. Yeah. We can do, a, do one of these other bodies. Give me my skin back. Well, no, we can just have it grow up blank, and then it will approximate the features. Oh, yeah, it's there to do that. Yeah, let's, I, there can only be one me. Yeah. One of you is enough. <laughs> did I say that loud? I'm yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> this, state, this statement is factually true. <laughs> oh, I like him too. Let's no get tattoos. No more adopting children. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think, doesn't it? <laughs> Back. <laughs> <laughs> you All right. Slap him? <laughs> so, so are you going to uh, you're going to put the uh, put the blank? We're gonna put the you're gonna put the put the you're gonna set the machine to blank. Okay. Yeah. It's now on the Avril put, body A. Confirmed. Yeah. Throw that away. No more. No more. Throw it away. Well, put mean, it in the recycle bin. Maybe hold on to it in case. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll keep hold on to it just in case. <laughs> oh shit. Keep it on file. <laughs> you won't have my soul. <laughs> yeah, that's more important, oh, wow. I think. The file will remain stored until you instruct me to delete it. That is the arrangement which you have executed. All right, great. Great. OK, so you begin the process, yes? People, people, people. It's like a vending machine where you pick your brand of Coke. Like, OK. Oh my god, what <laughs> if Go speaking she had Whoa. braids? <laughs> Brainiac no, she was a ghost spider. begins going through his various protocols, and you hear, Biologic regeneration process initiated. Er er error. Error. Pattern not recognized. Error. Command override accepted. Unauthorized profile uploaded. Biologic regeneration process initiated. Please stand by. The system is processing. The system is processing. The system is process, and you see the lights begin to like go down, and uh, suddenly your little kind of like risk commuter is like, eh, eh, um, did did there's more power that's not going? It's going out from the the field is collapsed. Is going to collapse within the next mm, forty minutes. What the fuck? There's a massive power drain on deck uh, 21, uh, and now there's a, a massive power drain on the deck 44. Did, did you make a change? No. Just uh, Are we on deck 44? Yeah. Uh, oh, no. 
Wow, no. I don't, was, is someone talking? I can't hear. <clears throat> I hear a talking, but I don't understand. No. Is uh, everything oh. fine? Situation normal. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Not good. The power is failing. The trans warp induction coils are cooling off. Uh, the ship is going to be crushed into a little scorch. Okay, can we put we, a pause? Maybe we, we should yeah, every, pause. tell them everything's fine. Likely to die <laughs> and then within fine. the next hour. Yeah, it's uh, everything fine. We 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 will sort out. Uh, Brennan, can we pause this like until the ship is like the system is processing. Oh my god! I think it's a loading bar or I think we need to fix. The power drain problem now? It, they said it would take us an hour to get up there in the fucking doohickeys. <clears throat> and now he, the no, other he said, said... He said it would take us on foot. It's true. Outside. Oh, Outside but this is not on foot. This is... Big feet. Yeah. You know what they say about big feet? They, they move a lot faster. They have a larger stride. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's fucking roll then. All right, let's fucking roll.